we in the health sector are very concerned about climate change and what's happening. If the pledges in Paris made in December 2015, if all those countries met their pledges, there will still be three to three and a half degrees warming. This is on track for more. And then we'll find that once we get to four degrees warming and prior to that, this is not compatible with human life. We will not survive, our food systems will not survive, society will fracture, and this will basically be the end of civilization. So this is an absolute survival emergency as well as a health emergency. So what we're wanting from governments is to recognise the urgency of this. The reason governments exist is to perform the activities that we as individuals cannot do. So they have to act for the collective. They should be acting on behalf of the benefit to keep us, to keep Australians healthy, to keep our society going um, and to maximise opportunities for future generations. So they must recognise this and act accordingly um, and do everything they can to help mitigate against further warming plus also the adaptation and this is across the board throughout the health sector, society, food supplies, water, emergencies, the whole lot. There are co-benefits to be had, but one of the key things is the prevention. So we really need to act because without it, health is going to suffer, continue suffering and become worse and worse. And so because we understand physiology, because we understand prevention, because we understand what holds societies together, we are making this very urgent call for governments to actually act now to, to, to maintain the future of Australia.